busy. Xavier Woods, by far, needs to have a really good, strong singles run. He needs to go for any championship that they're willing to give him because that man can get busy with anybody. Does not matter who he is in the ring with. He needs to have his flowers. He needs to have his opportunity. But dang on it, the two refs didn't make any sense. That's my rant. I'm done. It was a great match. A stupid finish. Oh, man. Uh, well, you heard the man, and I got to do it. Uh, the five-man Fatal 4-Way Intercontinental Championship match. It's a WTF award. What the f- What's that? What the f- What's that? Uh, <laughs> when we get a nomination for the WTF award, we got to go ahead and give it to him. Uh, LPZ, what do you think about the fatal five way intercontinental championship contenders match on SmackDown? Well, oh, me. sorry, <laughs> shit. Uh, I, thought, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a good match. I don't think it was necessarily needed because. I knew it was going to be either Drew or Shaman, which I'm kind of with Mr. Everything. I don't know why they keep why, – why is Shaman upset? You had your chances twice. You lost twice. Twice. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I think they're really going to end up doing a triple threat match. I, I don't see no reason for them not to do a triple threat match because that's the only thing they pushing. Um, apparently, Drew and Shaman both want to be part of WrestleMania. So uh, that's going to be the only way both of them are going to make the show. So that's what they're going to do. I think Gunther is still going to be the champion at the end. Uh, I don't want to see other standards and Drew uh, rivalry going on. I don't even, I don't even like them to be the Bang Bros or whatever. They are. I, I think that's I think that's dumb myself. I think I think Seamus forgot all about his boys. Where are his boys at? His boys somewhere don't got nothing to do because he's with a star who didn't need no partner. So I, I'm I'm not a big fan of what they're doing all together with uh with both of them, but the match is good. I I, I don't get I have not given Xavier Woods his prop because most of the time he doesn't really impress me. But matches like that, it really shows he's he's he might he might be better than Kofi. I ain't gonna say, but I'm gonna say he's better than Kofi. Like watching him wrestle, I might say he's better than yeah. I'm gonna say he's better than Kofi King. So yeah, he does need a push. But I don't think you're gonna get it because they need the new day to keep on tap dancing and selling merchandise. So they're not they're not gonna they're not gonna let Well, we thought that uh they were gonna push Xavier Woods when they had the King of the Ring tournament. And then, you know, when Roman had his historic run, part of that was squashing everybody that was <laughs> on the up and up. So uh he definitely squashed Xavier Woods and broke his crown and everything and said it's only one king. Around here, and that's Roman Reigns. So uh, I would love to see more of Xavier Woods. I've always been an Xavier Woods fan when it comes to his wrestling. He has a, a amateur background in wrestling. He's really good in the ring. He's entertaining, and you're right. He is very, very much so slept on uh, as far as his in ring ability and his ability to wrestle as a singles competitor. Uh, so what? Do you agree with that? Do you agree uh, that Xavier Woods is a better wrestler than Kofi Kingston? This and that, everything. Um, because of Xavier's background, and I would have to say yes. Um, and let's not forget, I don't, I don't remember Kofi being anywhere else except WWE. Um, Xavier Woods being TNA, he's from the independent, um, so he has. He, like he has to, uh, what's what's the word? Um, you know, he has the prestige, or for lack of a better term, like he has the legwork. Uh, he's been out there doing everything. And if you watch him whenever he works in the ring, his style is very different from everybody else. And you can tell, like, if you really put him in the ring with somebody that can go with him, that man can go. Like the match with him and uh, Chad Gable is a perfect example. Amazing match. Um, so yeah, I would say Xavier is probably the best wrestler in the new day. Um, Kofi is a good wrestler, great entertainer, and then Big E is just the, the powerhouse. So 
that's how you gotta pretty much label those guys. Oh man, LP, you said uh this uh on one of the podcasts, probably like two podcasts ago, uh that the the missing of, of Big E in the group is really has been really been detrimental to the, the success and growth of the group. You still feel that way? Like Big E uh plays an instrumental part in the group and you know they're not as strong as they once was as a two man versus where they are as the new day in the three man group. Uh yeah, I mean you can't help but to feel that he was the heart and soul of the group. Um I really think he might have been one of the most popular members of the group. This Rebecca he was a big guy, he was funny, but he still could wrestle. But uh, yeah, I just I just think without when they come out now, I'm just like okay, I'm not I'm, I'm not entertained by them like I was when Big E was there. Even though a lot of that stuff got stupid to me anyway. But without Big E, to me they're just I don't know that they, they don't have the same power that they had before. Um, I really think they got to do something. Big E probably never coming back, or if he does, who knows? But let's say Big E never comes back. They're going to do this for the rest of their careers. That's what it looks like. Like, what else are these guys going to do? 